to Life on Pick Row. Today we're looking at yo-yos. For those people who don't know what yo-yos are, never come across them, yo-yos can be found in hydroponics and aquaponics. They're basically a self-tensioning line. Now if you don't know what that means, if you look around here, can you see my tomatoes? Now how many of you every year have used canes? Or more importantly, string? Now there's a problem with string, Every time you use it and you wrap it around the plant, several things can happen. When you water, the water can get caught between the string and the plant. And there's a problem there. It can end up scorching the stem. But more importantly, it can help encourage fungal diseases. And also string stretches when it gets wet after a while and rots. And you find one day when you come into the greenhouse, all your tomatoes are lying on the floor. You do, don't you? How many of you found that? Tomatoes squished all over your path. So you opt for canes instead and you think canes are great but then you have to cut them to size to fit your greenhouse. And the problem is you spend half your life bending over, poking your eye on canes. In comes the yo-yo. This is the first year we've used them. We've seen them used by other growers and we thought we'd have a crack at them. So let's fit them and I'll show you how they're fitted. Okay? So how easy is it to fit a yo-yo? Well, according to the instructions, we merely hook it onto the plant like so. Like can you see? And up we go with that. Can you see glued up? And up we go, and up we go. Until we come to the wire, which is above here. We click it on like so. And there's your wire running all the way down now to the plant. Now it advises as it should do, when fitting a yo-yo, they come with a little bung. I'll show you the little bung. Now, the little bung looks like this, and it simply slots into the centre of the yo-yo. Can you see that? It acts as a bit of a brake. It stops the wire from moving. Try and do this with one hand. It's very like, difficult. So we slot it in, like so. And what happens is the wire stops moving. We do that for two reasons. If your plant's not got great root run on it, or it's a bit flimsy and easily pulls out of the soil, this stops it from being pulled out by the yo-yo, because the yo-yo keeps tensioning itself all the way through its use. So the great thing about it is, unlike string, it doesn't stretch. It doesn't have any fungal diseases under it, and unlike canes, you don't poke your eye out on them. It's very easy to fit, if you can see down here. And here now, it's fitted. You can barely see the string, but it's extremely tense. Now, obviously, to do this, you have to run wires across the top of your greenhouse, but that's a one-time installation. Whereas, if you think about cutting canes every year, or every two to three years when they rot, or using string every year, and having to take it back down at the end of the year, and all the fuss, and the hassle, and the chaos, and generally coming in to find tomato soup all over your path I'm going to try yo-yos and let you know where they go as we go through the season and it's if the heaven gods realize we are filming it started to rain after a week of absolutely no rain and scorching heat so this is a quick film from Pig Row and a quick bye-bye before the heavens truly open and I'm stuck in here for another seven days please someone send help